How you doing everyone? Mitch here with another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be talking about how to send your logic file to a friend. A producer, another musician, stuff like that, alright, across the internet. Now, when you save a file, logic is going to create a folder that is the name of your, your, your song, alright? So in this file is going to be your logic file, your actual logic project. And your logic product project needs to access different things along the way. And those things could be audio files, bounces, fade files, project backups, and undo data. All of these all these folders contain information that needs to be accessed by your logic project to run. So when you get this folder, you can't really send a folder across the internet. You need a single file to send. All right. So, but before we go into how to compress this into a single full or a single file, we need to talk about what's actually in it, all right? You need to talk to the person you're sending it to to make sure that he or she has all of the plugins that you have inside of that project. So, if you are using Melodyne on a track, and that person you're sending it to doesn't have Melodyne, that track will not be able to work. That Melodyne plugin will not be able to run. So what you need to do is delete all the other plugins off of there and bounce it with that Melodyne on it. So it creates a new audio file. And then you need to add back, add that audio file back into your project. And uh, it does take a little bit of work, but this is the only way to do it. Uh, it does pose problems if you send a file to somebody and then you want, and then you want it to bring it back but you just have an audio file so you can't really go back and edit the uh, you know information inside of Melodyne or if you actually have like Massive or something you can't go back and edit that synth once you've bounced it to an audio file so it's a good thing to keep the original file to look back and reference whenever you need alright so uh, that's number one make sure that uh, you have all of the same plugins next if you are using a sequencer or sampler uh, that is pointing to audio files outside of this folder right here, you need to make sure that all of the audio files that your project's using is contained inside of this folder. All right, so that means if UltraBeat is pointing or grabbing audio from another file on your on your drive or on an external drive, you need to drag and drop it into this main file so the person getting it can have that file and can use it. All right. So what I usually do is I create a new folder that says samples, something along those lines, and then you drag all the samples that Logic is using into this folder. All right. And then you need to make sure that all of your um, Ultra Beats, all of your ESX24, all of your all of your plugins that access these are pointing or are referencing the audio in the samples folder. All right? So now the end product is a logic file that is being run solely off of components inside of this folder. Once you have that done, you can right click on it and compress. Once you compress this, it will create a single file in which you can send over the internet. A couple benefits to this is that uh, it is a smaller size than the original. Uh, what is this? It is uh, 58.8 megabytes, and this is uh, 40.1 megabytes. So it's kind of a noticeable difference on the amount, of the size. So you don't have to take up a bunch of bandwidth uploading and downloading this thing. All right. Another nice thing is that it's a single file, so you don't have to mess with a bunch of different files. Like in uh, Dropbox, you can uh, just upload a file, but that there creates a whole hierarchy inside of Dropbox, and it just kind of gets a little bit messy. So the best way is to just uh, compress it into a single file and share that with your friends. So everyone, thanks for watching. Hope this clears the thing, clears a few things up, and uh, makes it a little bit easier on you. Thanks for watching. A peace out.